When you live in Ukraine and you feel, and I feel how my in-laws treat me better than, I can say, like in some respects better than my own blood family, my blood brother, you know, like my brother-in-law would do more for me than my blood brother. I don't think it's fair to talk, to really trash somebody, as I'm saying, or slam somebody and talk about the 10 reasons why not to marry a Ukrainian. Let's talk about the top 10 pros or reasons you might want to marry Ukrainian. Because at the end of the day, like I said, you just have to decide if this type of a woman is for you. We know you want their traditionality because it's almost gone and non-existent in the Western world. And two, we know you want their beauty because they are probably the most beautiful culture in the world. Maybe that's up for debate, but that's certainly my opinion. Um, having lived there, there for a year, Kiev is a runway show pretty much every day. <laughs> On Kershatic, I was to call it Kershatic uh, instead of Avenue Runway. Um, okay, so the top ten pros of marrying Ukrainian or being in a relationship with a Ukrainian woman, um, honey, decide which one you want to talk about. Number one is they're traditional. Everybody understands they're traditional. This has been talked about until we're blue in the face, so I don't think I need to uh, get into that. But um, they are feminine, as I believe God had intended for woman. Woman is to be beautiful and feminine, okay? Woman is to provide uh, her energy, her support to the man and help him really um, succeed. And that's what a feminine woman, that's what my wife does. I've never been supported so much th th through good times, through bad, through stressful times, through happy times, always there um, with their man. So that is a beautiful thing, guys. <laughs> That's a really beautiful thing that I, I, I wish for every man uh, to have in his wife. Number two, they're most beautiful, right? I already said it. Um, number three, do you want to cover? Which one do you want to cover, honey? <laughs> okay, number three, just tell me which number you want. Okay, number three, they do not have an entitlement mentality. And I know this is big for you guys. I hear from all my clients, every single one of them. Women now in the West feel entitled. They are entitled. Let me share you. Um, Anna and I got married on a budget of $2,900. And that was for a party of 15. Um, that includes my ring, her ring, my uh, tux, her wedding gown, and feeding 15 people in a restaurant. Okay, in Ukraine. But still, $2,900 as your total. So does that seem like unreasonable expectations of a wife? Of a fiance, no, very, very down to earth. Um, and um, they they don't have this entitlement. In fact, it's the opposite. They have a gratefulness, a gratitude mentality. And again, I'm talking about if you get a woman plus, right? Mm -hmm. Which is what Anna is. Is remember, there's three types of women: women minus, women few, zero, women That's zero, awesome. and woman plus. And you definitely want to wait until you find a woman. Plus, now when I'm talking about pros, I think all of these 10 pros are from women plus, mm -hmm. okay, which is what you want to wait until you find a woman plus in Ukraine. Um, every wise man will do that. You want to talk about the next one? No, talk about age gap. You, okay. you will be beaten, not me then. <laughs> age gap. So really, in all honesty, the realistic age gap is more, if you talk to Tatiana, was 27 years a uh, successful matchmaking experience and a lot of marriages under her belt. She will tell you five to 10 years. That's realistic for Ukraine, for Ukrainian people. Um, yes, Ukra it's true. Ukrainian women want an older man, not an old man. <laughs> okay, that's the difference. They want an older man because he's wiser. He's definitely def usually got his shit together, right? So he's financially stable. Um they like to learn from their man. They like him to be wise, smart. So all these redeeming qualities of a man tend to be in an older, not an old man. <laughs> and some of you might think I'm hypocritical right now, but I always say I got lucky. I, I won't, uh, I won't um, lie to you, right? I, I, I'm an outlier, statistical outlier, okay? Um, so, yeah. You can get 10, 15, 20 years. And in, to me, 20 years is the absolute, like Anna and I, 20 years, the absolute max to have a long lasting love based relationship. If you push it beyond that, you're just on a tipping, ticking time bomb. 
That's my two bits on age gap. You can go ahead and pull the pin on an age gap. A grenade and get into a 40 year age gap relationship. <laughs> but guess what? That shrapnel is going to take out both your eyes when it goes <laughs> off, is what I'm saying. Anything's possible. But okay. So that's me on, on age gap. But here's where I will give a plug for your SMB.com because really, this, this is a fantastic tool, guys. And I created this. You can calculate four things um, your age gap uh, quickly which I don't recommend because it's not very accurate. Your age gap, um, accurate, um, which is 60 questions. is very accurate because there's 60 input variables weighted according to how Ukrainian grade or value their man. And that's surveyed heavily. So it's very accurate. Number three is uh, probability of marriage. What's your chance of getting married to a Ukrainian woman? Again, about 60 input variables. And then finally, uh, max age gap. So the maximum age gap that you can... Um, realistically attain with a Ukrainian woman. If you haven't done that, I strongly recommend you do. All right. So which one are you going to do? Number five? Yeah, family oriented. Okay. Yeah, you <laughs> family. take the easy one. <laughs> yes. Mm. yes, family oriented family will be always priority in their life. Yeah, Ukrainian women, they're all about family. Everything family. To, to create the family, first of all, that's their focus. So they don't sleep around. Their body count number is low. Again, this is a woman plus, right? Uh, body count is low because they understand innately that they have sex with a lot of men. Their value uh, is coming down in man's eyes. They, they just get it. They get everything. Everything is geared towards family. First, to, to find Mr. Right, um, and then to keep Mr. Right, to keep him happy, to create the family, to keep the family together. One of my favorite pros about Ukrainian women is that when you have a fight in the family, they keep it in the family. They never go gossip to their mother or their father. For example, oh, Joe or whoever did this and did no, they because they understand that she will get past it, but her mom or her dad won't. She's they're now gonna keep um, you know, um, yeah. a hate on a, a, a demerit, whatever, for, for the husband. And this is so wise, so wise. You will never be trashed. You'll never be in the in the dugout, you know, with the in-laws because of the wife telling on you something stupid that sometimes we do, right, guys? I mean, hey, nobody's perfect. But that's a beautiful quality that really, again, why? Family-oriented. That's a big one, guys. Everything is about the family. Everything. And it's good to talk to you about this, and I'll be right back. Fantastic mothers, that's what I was take talking yeah before family oriented and fantastic mothers yeah like they just uh, a lot of them even cannot have babysitter you know because they cannot delegate these things you know like they just want to be involved in um in growing children you know this is something they really enjoy and they want to have very close relationship with children you know we are very open and like uh, children not just for children you know for just points no just just part of their life they want to invest a lot of time and energy you know to create this relationship yeah very supportive stand for um, for their men yeah Jim, maybe you can cover more on that but yeah, generally speaking, uh, again, because of traditional culture, um, it's a part of uh, what family stands for, you know, in traditional culture that um, men have taken the leading role where women also have her, you know, her goals, you know, but it she's very supportive and she's into knowing what men doing, you know, and uh, help with her over she can you know in in any possible way to be involved you know with her advice with her work that she's doing uh to help her just be there you know for men um, creating this i don't know peaceful island at home you know where he can relax from uh, this crazy world where he wants to succeed yeah my next it's healthy good positive influence Ukrainian women, they take in this role of being doctor in a family in a, in a, in a positive meaning. Uh, like they they want a family to eat healthy food. I found our cultural, culturally food very healthy. And uh, I found this, you know, 
like desire of woman to cook it's not just to cook you know it's not about like but just like having a possibility to eat more healthy food you know because this is just what you eat it directly depends on how much energy you have how much um how much health you have and you know health this is like you can have everything in life but if you're not healthy then just no, no enjoying life right so it's a big part of uh, of happy life so they want to invest time in what they cook, what they how to take care about family because this is part of um structure that adapt to happy family life yeah together I was talking about faithful and loyal i'm back so can you add something on faithful and loyal well I was just it's because yeah Ukrainian women are very faithful and loyal <laughs> do we had something I don't know you wrote this so like I just no I think you covered it honey it's I it's think... true um of course there's always cheating in all cultures but yeah again the goal is family the family unit it's respected it's cherished it's historically bred into them from their parents then their babushka dedushka you know their grandparents that uh, that's the goal of life right so Everything, everything is for the family. Yeah, I just have hard time to like something add to this because I don't know how it can be different. Yeah, you, know? you, you don't know like, the difference. And, yeah. and I can say when you live in Ukraine and you feel, and I feel how my in-laws treat me better than, I can say, like in some respects better than my own blood family, my blood brother, you know, like my brother-in-law would do more for me than my blood brother. I think that's it. Thanks for um thanks for everything guys. Thank you. For thanks being for with being us. with us. God bless.